Today we're going to be looking at how to divide with integers. And doing division problems with integers is a lot like multiplication because if our two integers have the same sign, meaning that they're both positive, we're going to end up with a positive answer. If they're both negative, we're going to end up with a positive answer. If one is positive, one is negative, we'll always end up with a negative answer. So let's have a look at some problems here. Let's start off with a negative 10. And we are doing division, so I'm going to divide that negative 10 by negative 5. Now, if we think back to doing multiplication with integers, division is kind of the same because both the same sign, negative and negative, which means my answer is going to end up being positive. 10 divided by 5, I know 5 goes into 10 two times. And just once again, since both of our integers have the same sign, meaning that they're negative, negative, negative gives us a positive answer. Let's look at another one now. And this time around, we're going to have different signs. So let's take negative 15, and we're going to divide our negative 15 by positive 3. So we have different signs now, a negative and a positive. So my answer is going to have to be a negative. Because when the signs are opposite, the answer is negative. So 15 divided by 3, I already know, will end up being negative 5. Now let's look at one more. And although this next one is a fraction, you still do a division problem. Negative 12 over 3 is the same as saying negative 12 divided by 3. So if I want to, I can rewrite this. And I will say negative 12 divided by 3. My signs are different. I have a negative and a positive, which means my answer will end up being a negative. 3 goes into 12 four times. And it has to be negative because the signs are different. So negative 12 divided by 3.